Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this week. I'm Chuck. And I'm Allie. And we are Allie Chuck Adventures. And in case you haven't noticed, <laughs> we finally got an RV cover after talking about this for, ever since we bought Aquila, we had talked about getting an RV cover because we really want to protect her. And the fine people at RV Masking reached out to us and actually supplied us with this cover to do a review and to try it out and give our thoughts on. <laughs> so if you're new to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And ring the bell. Alright, so we're going to see what we got in the box here. I did, uh, I did open it in the house just to, just to see kind of inside the top of the box, but I have not taken anything out. So I'm just going to open it up and we're going to go through this and see what's in the box. So first off, I would say that this is probably going to be the bag for storing the cover. Okay, so we got a bag. So we've got a warranty card, installation, and I think these, I'm not sure what these are. Go ahead and open it up and see real quick. All right, so you got your warranty card. Toss that to the side for now. You got installation instructions. These are gonna show me how to install the cover. I'll set those to the side. Uh, this looks like it might be replacement patch material in case you get a tear in your cover. These, I'm going to assume, are the gutters protectors to keep, uh, keep your drip gutters from ripping the RV cover itself. So I'm going to actually sit these over here because I'm going to need those. This, this is just a tote bag to keep this extra stuff in. We got some uh, bungee type cords here. I'll set those to the side. We've got, I don't know what this is. Maybe these are tire covers, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, so these are the tire covers. I go ahead and put one on. There we go. Easy enough. I'm going to go ahead and put this second one on. And they have nice elastic material at the top. Makes it easy to just slide them over the tires. Two more for the other side. I'll do in a second. This is... Oh, this is still that cover, or case. It's still that bag, I guess. <laughs> all right, okay. So this looks like this is the bag with all the straps in it. We're strapping everything down. So, I don't know if they're all kind of the same. No, this one's longer. This one's definitely longer. This one looks shorter. So it looks like there's definitely a assortment of different straps here and sit those to the side I dropped one where did it go oh it's inside the box okay all right for the cover itself all right so for now I'm going to go ahead and store all this stuff in this little bag that was inside here just so I don't lose any of this stuff um, I'm definitely going to need these little gutter covers and I'll have to go up on the roof to put these on so I'm going to leave these out for now. Um, the bungees and stuff uh, and straps I would suppose all that would be able to go in here. Yes so everything can fit in there. Okay so I want to definitely be careful here I do not want to do not want to stick a knife in here and rip the cover itself. So I'll cut it on the side, and there we go. It's already starting to 
expand. So I'm looking at the instructions and basically I think the first thing I got to do is roll the cover out, determine which end is the front, which is the rear. Then I got to place the cover at the front center of the roof. So that means I got to climb up on the roof with it, put the front center to the front, and then I think it's basically just unrolling it and folding it out and letting it drop over the sides. So I'm going to assume that's all I have to do to start with. And then there's a bunch of tie downs, which, uh, but first off, I got to unroll it, figure out which is the front, and which is the rear, climb up on the ladder and drag it up and put it on. So I think I'm going to actually climb up there and put these little gutter pieces on before I even uh, unroll the whole cover and see. It's time to untie it, which comes with a strap here, and unroll it. See which end is the front, and which one is the back. So, I'm going to think that this might be the rear. So it says right here, there's a tag underneath front and end. So I gotta find that tag. Okay, so this is the front. So this means I will go up the ladder with this end, which is gonna be kinda tough because I don't have a lot of room back here. So, I'm just working a little bit up at a time. Just a little at a time, you gotta be careful up here. Do not trip. Okay, at this point, I'm just pulling the cover up on top of the RV, just trying to get the whole length of the cover up there with the front end towards the front end of the RV. Now, of course, I have it upside down which is not making things easier. Once I did discover that uh, I had pulled the cover up kind of upside down and had to kind of unfold it, uh, things started going a lot smoother at this point and I think I will remember this the next time which will make life much easier. One thing to keep in mind when you're up on the roof, you got to make sure you're wearing some good shoes. Don't go up in flip-flops or something like that. Something with some good traction. Last thing you want to do is slip and fall also, once you get the cover up there and the cover is kind of covering up your air conditioner and your vents and antennas and things of that nature, just remember where those things are and just take extra precaution not to uh, trip over one of those things or break one of those things by stepping on it. Okay, so I've pretty much got it installed. I just have to go ahead and run the straps, but it's getting ready to rain, so I'm going to do that later, probably tomorrow. But it's on, it fits really nicely, and I have to say again, one of the best features I've seen on this is that it has the nice felt lining under the key areas where it could potentially rub paint off, like on your front cap. So, yeah, it looks good. It fits good. All in all, it wasn't that hard to put on. And uh, sure was easier than the cover I had before when we had our Gulfstream Visa. Now, that one was tough because it was not a walkable roof. And it was uh, kind of a pain to put on. But seeing as how I can walk on the roof of this RV and just pull it up there, drape it over the sides, not that hard. There are these zippers here. There's different panels on the side here, depending on wherever your door is to let yourself into the RV. So this is where our door is here. So obviously we would not tie down here yeah. because we want to be able to unzip here and raise this flap up over to be able to get inside the RV. Yeah. And it looks like there's Velcro up here. So I'm going to assume that when you roll these up, they Velcro in place. Last night when Chuck was installing this, it started raining for the millionth gazillionth time. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, the sad thing about it is the directions got wet. So now Chuck is having to figure this all out just by looking at everything. Which is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I just got to figure out which strap goes where. That's about all. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up one of these the side compartment so we can get in and out of the RV to see how it does. I am going to have to run another strap down here. You can see how it's already, the wind is mm -hmm. whipping it out a little bit. <sighs> even, even I can't reach that right now. <laughs> now. There's a little Velcro piece there holding it close. Yeah, there's a Velcro piece right here, keeping the two panels together. This might be a two-person job. So when your RV is as tall as ours is, you're gonna have to have a ladder to do this part. And it helps to have two people. And you got more Velcro straps here. Okay. Oops, I didn't unzip it all the way over here. Not hard to do, just need a ladder. Also included in the RV cover is a cover for your tongue jack. So, that's pretty cool. No more five gallon bucket. So I did install the RV cover last night and to keep from boring you guys and actually sitting there and filming and showing the whole process, I will say it took me just under 10 minutes from the time I decided to pull it up on the top of the RV and get it uh, you know, on the RV and draped over the RV. That will be quicker in the future just because I took it up upside down, which made me, uh, have to fight with it a little bit more than I should have. So when I take it off this time, I'm gonna film that for a future video and give you guys an update on uh, if it gets the process, you know, should get quicker for me. Winter's coming up north and uh, you know, you wanna protect your RV. I think this is a, I think this is gonna be a good cover. I tell you, I really like the fact that it had the felt underneath the front cap and the end cap to kind of protect where it rubs against the corners. That is something that our previous RV cover, when we had with our 2011 Gulfstream, it didn't have that. And I did notice that it did rub some paint off. So hopefully this will protect it. Uh, down here, we don't have to worry about snow, but we do have to worry about the UV protection. And <laughs> this is going to provide UV protection. You guys know, if you've seen some of our previous videos, that I really uh, sing the praises of 303 Aerospace and spraying it on our decals to, you know, to prevent uh, or, or slow down the UV damage process. We're definitely going to be using this as uh, when we know we're not going to camp for a week or two. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and uh, you know give it a break from the Florida sun for a couple weeks. We hope you found this video helpful and you learned a lot from it. Mm -hmm. We will see you guys probably in the Florida Keys next. All right. That's the plan. <laughs>